Counted every poll as it came in, and uh, followed your tweets, Jen. You were you were in the lead there. <laughs> um, so you're going to be part of the next government. I'm going to be part of the next government. Yes. Is this is what you expected when you started your campaign? Uh, I didn't uh, go into the campaign to lose. I knew it would be a very difficult uh, to unseat a you know a sitting cabinet minister, but uh, I knew if I worked hard, I would have a reasonable chance at it. What's the first thing that you did when you found out? Uh, hugged my family. And did you talk to Ramona? I know she was looking for you earlier. No, I haven't. Okay. No. She was trying to reach you for a while. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's been a few uh, phone calls and, uh, and texts and emails coming in. So what do you think this means for Nova Scotia? Uh, what does this mean for Nova Scotia? Nova Scotia was clearly looking uh, for a new government, a uh, government that I think uh, uh, is going to look out uh, for Nova Scotians, um, a government that uh, uh, will focus on honesty. I think Stephen McNeil uh, is a leader uh, with very, very high integrity and uh, I think has a tremendous uh, sense of, of uh, of Nova Scotia, particularly rural Nova Scotia, uh, and I think he has great respect for Nova Scotians and uh, wants to lead a government that uh, uh, is thoughtful, uh, straightforward, works hard, and 
Is there anything you wanted to say to your opponents? Well, uh, well I want to uh, thank them uh, both for uh, putting forward uh, uh, all of their names, all three of them put, putting their f names forward for public office. I want to thank uh, uh, Ramona Jennings for her four and a half years of public service uh, during a very difficult time uh, in a very difficult uh, portfolio and uh, she has uh, served uh, Kings North well and uh, uh, I'd like, on behalf of all the citizens of uh, King South I would like to thank her. So did you feel any confident earlier this evening knowing that King South has been a bellwether for seven, well now eight elections in a row, or do you think it's just a fluke? Uh, Not a fluke exactly. Yeah. But. I, I felt uh, reasonably confident given the reception I had at the door, um, uh, and certainly, you know, the polls were encouraging, but I, of course you can't count on them. Um, so, as with every election, you have to wait until the votes are counted, and I waited for... Tonight, this was one of the last ones to be called. Yeah. Was that a little nerve-wracking? Uh, it was a bit, yeah. It w I watched every... Uh, Every number as it uh, came up uh, on your tweets or on the website. Yeah, it wasn't until the 50th poll I felt yeah. confident moving. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I just get a picture with you and Catherine and Simon? Yes, certainly. You might want to yeah. get Simon to put down his beer. Pardon me? You might want to get Simon to put down his drink. Yes, okay. <laughs> and uh, where's Catherine? There's Catherine!